Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for checking out the video. So before I actually roll into the video, um, I wanted to take a second and show you guys my merch. Uh, if you haven't been following along, um, I finally have merch. I've designed a ton of stuff for you guys. Uh, we have stickers like window decals, door decals, uh, regular stickers, patches, hoodies, shirts, all that kind of stuff. Please go check that out. The uh, link to that stuff will be in the description. So, all right, really appreciate it. Um, here's the video. Thanks, guys. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks so much for checking out the video. So today uh, I'm at Riggs and Coffee here in the, on the Bentonville Square. Uh, I have my buddy Scott. He's the owner of Express Rally. Um, I'm sure you know about Express Rally from seeing some of my videos and stuff, but we're gonna do a one take walk around on his really sick Land Cruiser. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll get to it. All right guys, so here it is. This is Scott and his Land Cruiser. So Scott, tell me about it, man. Tell me all about it. Yeah, so I uh, purchased this vehicle in uh, May of this year and Jason Harris at Ozark Overland Outfitters actually located it for me and found it. Uh, he knew I was in the market for one and actually came across one that was even better than what we were looking for. So this is a 1975 and it was a one owner and it's had 57,000 miles on it when I bought it. Now it's got a little over 60 on it. So I've been, I've been driving it quite a bit actually. Uh, but I've been in the market for a 40 for a while and this one just fit the bill So I wanted something that was in pretty good shape had good good history to it uh, But was something that I could ultimately drive. I like to drive all my vehicles uh, And this one is no exception. We actually actually took it on the Express Rally Overland event two months ago and oh, yeah. uh, enjoyed that so it was a little bit of fun having a vehicle with no power steering and manual <laughs> transmission on on uh, some of those trails out there, so. Uh, so really got to enjoy the vehicle and kind of have a good experience with it on that event. My dad went with me, he's uh, 70. So nice. making memories in the Land Cruiser with my dad. Hope to have a lot more of that with my family in the coming years, but uh, yeah. It's, That's right, man. It's, uh, other than the stuff that we've done to it, it's it's fairly stock. So uh, original motor, original transmission, all of that. Uh, we can kind of start from the front and work yeah. our way back, and I'll just kind of tell you guys what we've done to it. Let's so do it. We added added a bumper. I think this is Cool Cruisers of Texas. Uh, we added the 8274 winch, which obviously for an FJ is period correct and is just kind of the the, the choice to go with. Some Factor 55 goodies on here. We added OEM FJ40 fog lights, which are uh, almost impossible to find, but we managed to get some. Uh, we did Dobinson suspension all the way around, so a slight, slight lift, about a two inch lift. Uh, some of my favorite parts of the vehicle are the wheels. So these are 1552 yeah, analog HDs in slate gray, and uh, we've got Falcon Wild Peak MT tires. Uh, skinny tires, pizza cutters, so mm -hmm. a little bit different than normal. Um, let's see, there's there's not a whole lot to talk about as far as exterior suspension wise. A lot of it's stock. Uh, Got to shout out the Lifson to Andrew. That's right. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing some of uh, uh, Lifson's yeah. pants right now, guys. Good, they're really cool. Good stuff. So, uh, repping Andrew always. Really, really good products. If you want some awesome pants, check him out. Uh, one of the coolest things about the rig, in my opinion, was the bumper. So I was pretty specific on wanting to use a Delta Vehicle Systems jerry can holder. Uh, Delta is a company that has done a lot for me on my 80 series, and I absolutely love their products. They are over-engineered, over-built. It's an awesome company. Everything's made in the United States. And try to support them as much as I can. And uh, so I approached Jason. I was like, Jason, I, I want to use this jerry can holder. Uh, is there a way that we can include that on the 40? And so Jason actually built, fabricated this rear bumper. This whole bumper is what he made, and he made it look, I mean, it looks OEM. It, totally it looks does. like it belongs yeah, on there. For sure. And so Jason, Jason made that. Uh, obviously holds a spare tire, jerry can holder. Uh, it's just super simple to operate and get into. 
and nice. you can tell from the hardware that you used. I mean, Jason, mm -hmm. Jason overdid it. This thing is bulky and hardcore. Uh, hitch down there so I can throw my mountain bike on the back of it when I needed to. But uh, as always, some some Express Rally gear back there oh, yeah. for for eggs and coffee for people that want that. But uh, yeah, you know what? Really, for the most part, I haven't done a lot to this truck. It it needed a Needed a mechanical, not really an overhaul, but we did go through and make sure everything was was uh, operating really well. We switched over to electronic fuel injection, okay. uh, just to make it a little bit easier to drive on a day to day basis. And other than that, it's it, it didn't need a ton. Mm -hmm. uh, addressed the cooling system and, and just some just some general maintenance items, but uh, the interior. We did recover the seats, put new seat covers on it, but everything else is, is original in here. Um, Love so, the old school dash, man. Yeah, just really straightforward. Super cool. Simple. There is a, I, I, I'm able to drive a few different cars for Express Rally, and, and uh, I will say there is something that is uh, just really cool about being able to hop in something that's so analog and so simple. Uh, I, I like different driving experiences, and you know, driving driving a, a Porsche or a Supra or an 80 series is one driving experience, and this is completely different. And it's Absolutely. just you feel connection to the car, to the road. Uh, it's got a heritage about it that you just kind of don't get with other vehicles. And uh, every time I get in this thing, I just have a smile on my face. So that kind of <laughs> kind of makes it worth it. But Super uh, cool. yeah, they're fun. They're a lot of fun. Man, and, one of my favorite things about this is actually the the paint and the patina on it. I think it has just the right amount. I love it. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I will restore it and repaint it at some point, but for now, because it was original, because the car was originally white and it had such a cool history to it, it just seemed like the best thing to do was to drive it like it is and enjoy, enjoy it in its current state. So it's been a lot of fun and uh, I like I like the paint too. Having having a little bit of rust on it and a little character in it, it's fun and it makes it a little bit easier to take it out and enjoy it in the woods. So Definitely. it's been a bit of a blast. Well man, what are you doing on the roof rack and your awning and yeah, stuff like that? Yeah, we can go around this side yeah, because it's it. over there. Roof rack is Bowfin Cruisers. Uh, they made the roof rack for my 80 series. They have a kind of a unique look to them with the way that it's built into the rain gutter and, and the front fairing, but oh, yeah. I just really, really nicely put together pieces. Uh, great company to work with. Um, and then a, a Darche awning, which uh, will you get some get some occasional use. But uh, yeah, the the plan ultimately is I've got I've got daughters that are two, so hopefully in the coming years they will enjoy hopping in this and going to Devil's Den or going to get ice cream or just going to yeah. run errands with me. They've got the jump seats in the back, which you can't tell now because I've got boxes back there. But uh, hopefully in due time, they'll love hopping in with Dad and, and enjoying it. We'll be able to create some memories with them in this vehicle. So, uh, so far, they enjoy jumping in it and uh, grabbing the steering wheel and hopping around. So that's <laughs> that's about all they can do right now. But, uh, yeah, vehicles like this, I feel like it's, it's cool to preserve the history, especially if you're a Toyota or a Land Cruiser fan. And uh, to own something like this and then actually drive it. You know, it's one thing if they sit in your garage, but I think you get a little bit more enjoyment out of it if you're able to hop behind the wheel and really actually drive it and then get to share it with people. Mm -hmm. uh, people love seeing these. You're just sitting at a stoplight or at a gas station and someone comes up to you and tells you about when their uncle or their dad had one or they owned one in the past. and. Uh, you know, a lot of people regret selling him, so I think I just won't do that. I think I'll just keep it, yeah. uh, keep it and enjoy it. But yeah, it's it's been a blast. I'm very lucky to own it, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. That's for sure. Awesome. Well, yeah, like you said, guys, uh, check out Express Rally on YouTube. Um, he does wheel this thing, and he does use it. He gets stuck and, and <laughs> really uses it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's super killer to see it actually on the trail. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Um, anything else? Any last minute? Uh, things you want to show off or talk about? I don't think so. I think uh, this is how she sits. If, if you want to see it, come to Riggs and Coffee. We yeah. do it uh, the second Saturday of every month at the Hub Bike Lounge in Bentonville. Uh, it's been growing like crazy, getting a lot of really cool rigs and a lot of, like, a lot of really good people coming out, just kind of hanging out and yeah, we're, see all sorts of stuff. There's here, so. tons of rigs way over here you can't even see, yeah. so it's, it's getting bigger every time. There's a killer Defender that's literally oh, right, yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah. So, I've been sneaking some shots yeah, in there on this one. Yeah. It's, it's sweet. 
But uh, no, as always, check out Express Rally for our overland and off-road events. Uh, if you have a fast car, we do those events as well. But uh, no, it's it's great. It's, it's a good time to to be into overlanding and off-roading just as a hobby, uh, and you get, you know get the opportunity to meet a lot of really great people and create some special memories along the way. So happy happy to share it with you guys, and I know we'll be getting Grant on an event here pretty soon. So look forward to some more content from Express Rally from his channel as well. So it's been fun. Cool. Well, thanks, Scott. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, stay tuned for some more of these one-take walk-arounds. Um, I'm actually going to go do my buddy's forerunner over there in just a second. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cool.